the stream is up. You guys find pretty hefty loading times? Point one six one. My okay, crew is assembled, I'm in. and we're preparing to disembark on our expedition to the trench. Before we depart, however, Starfleet Command has asked us to complete one final exercise to confirm the Aegis's fitness for the mission ahead, and undoubtedly to test the readiness of her captain and crew. Yeah, sure. Are you guys in? All right. I'm in. Here we captain, are, guys. We have a message incoming from Deep Space K7. All right, on screen. Opening channel. Aegis, <laughs> we have a freighter coming into dock, and we've, uh, we've had a little trouble lately with smugglers trafficking invasive species. On your way out, I think it'd be best for everyone if you could just verify the ship isn't carrying any wildlife. Ready for orders, okay. Captain? Tactical, I've tagged the vessel, Ragusa. Please do a scan. Roger, scanning all systems. Scanning now. Routine theta radiation scans all come up clean. Okay, let me know what you find. 25%. We got Taz in game. Helm, take us yep. uh, to 10 kilometers from that target. Seventy-five percent scan complete. I can barely hear Brandon. Oh, okay. oh, he's he's fine for me, which is weird. I will update your panel, Captain. Scans complete. I am not detecting any unusual life forms aboard the freighter, Captain. I'll let K Seven know the ship's clean. Oh, okay. So, so we're going to continue our patrol. So yeah, we're done with that scan. Let's uh, have a look at the map. We're going to warp to Gamma Hydra. Okay, I guess that's all Lewis. If he can figure it out. So engineering, we need you to put... Uh, prepare to warp. Do you want me to switch to engineering? Uh, sure, yeah. Or yeah, you let me know if you want me to switch to... How do I switch from this seat? Okay, I see it. Uh, just, just luck and then, yeah. So, yeah, I guess whenever I say... Or, it, or you could tell me to switch back and forth. Yeah. Lewis is still trying to figure things out, so... All right. Yeah, uh... I know. I, the only one I know is engineering. Oh. Okay, why don't... Let's put Taz on engineering. Or, no, that's fine. We take our time. Let's yeah. figure it out. So what, sorry, you wanted to switch to warp, right? Uh, yeah, so uh, I think Helm needs to put in the destination for Gamma Hydra. So tap on the warp map, and then tap on Gamma Hydra. And then engineering, prepare to warp by um, warp coil putting, in, putting, heading, putting energy. Heading, uh, charging coils. Oh, perfect. Okay, and then uh, Taz, go to the local warp coils charged. key and move the ship to the new heading, uh, which is oh, it doesn't actually show me. Warp coil discharge imminent. Oh crap! I can't get warp is discharging. Can only keep it on so long. Okay, no, I'm trying to get the thing to go forward. It won't. Coils discharged. Uh, go to the I think you just screen. you just want to uh, you just want to orient orientate yeah. to the right. That's cool. I can right see your view screen from here. Click on local, and then move the ship using the dial on the right. Everything work with mouse and keyboard, or with the mouse sort of, Brandon? Like you. Because I don't know, I'm, I'm in VR, so everything's done with my hands. Um, yeah, you kind of hover what over the What happens if I go, go back in? Because I can use VR. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I wonder. I guess we'll see if uh, you reconnect. Let's see if we could... Yeah, let me see if I can... On... 
see if I can re-invite. Well, there I can get to the friends menu and. So I don't know if that's. Or I, I can I maybe I can re-invite. Yeah, I'm good. let me pop out. All right, on Yeah, the, give it a try. Okay. So what lowers are, um, while Lewis is doing that, what lowers are, uh, you know how it has detectable at 10 kilometers? I guess that depends. I thought putting our phaser range down would do that, but it doesn't. I'm not sure what effects our, um, Wait for Lewis so he can figure out the helmet. controls. He he almost got it. He just he, he just had to steer the ship to the. Let me take a look at this for you. The head. What do you do though? Just click the mouse on it and click and drag or something. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So we need to be heading two three zero or something, something like that. I can't tell. That's a problem with these other stations. You get zero. You can't pull yep, up a. Uh, location or anything it's kind of yep. lame that's right that's why uh, each roll has yeah i guess i guess but come on you should be able to throw up various things on uh oh there's usually one button that brings you back to the captain's seat oh rather right. than looking and so it's some like escape or something probably on the keyboard oh, okay oh that's weird okay yeah Maybe while I'm here, I can figure out what hotkeys there are. Space bar is full screen. Yeah, like you should be able to throw stuff up on the view screen or something. You know what I mean? Like, depending on what you want to display. I think they should make a change for that. Oh, I wonder if I have to reinvite Lewis. Or he should be on Team TeamSpeak, right? What's going on, Lewis? Um, he... Or maybe you decide to reboot for some reason? Check one, two. There you are. Oh, yeah, he's Check back one, on two. PC. Check one, two. Yeah. Oh. oh, I should probably unmute so you can hear. Yeah, we yeah, hear, we hear you, you on speak. speak. Ask him if we need to invite him in. I can try now with... Because uh... um... he's in-game, so I'll just invite him anyway. Okay, okay. Okay, what's the escape button in uh what's the escape, escape button, button in VR? VR? Yeah. Yeah. Uh no clue. I've never had to figure out how to join a game. <laughs> Got some high end sensor interference. Could you check it out? I invited him though. You know. Oh there it is. Yeah, I saw the invite. Uh oh. There I'll do, do, like? do, do it again. Steer, target. target. Oh yeah, can oh, I go to exterior, exterior view? Yeah, I can. Okay, this gives me a little better idea. At least I could see where we're supposed to be oriented. I am sending new data to your panel, Captain. All right, Taz is back in. All right. Can you um, hear me in game? Yeah, but it's wow. still the it's still the mess of uh, microphone issue. Yeah. yeah. So okay, muting muting your in game. Okay. That's weird though, because now you're probably it should be on the Oculus uh, voice. Or no, I took Oculus my, microphone. I, I took them off mine, and I've got them set to my uh, Logitech. Oh. Okay. There's more stuff on this thing than there is. Uh, on regular play. That's different. What do you mean? Okay, I see Lewis reaching for stuff. I don't think Lewis did the tutorial. 
Not on the helm, no. It's, ah, it's no okay. wonder. <laughs> I hadn't had a Grab that thing on the right where it says the heading. Bottom right. Yeah. And move it left or right. It's mostly what you need to do. Full power on the engines? Um. Full power on engines. I guess maybe I can't warp out of here. Well, you got to turn uh, to the right heading first. Cl so no, click on click on warp and select gamma hydra. Well, he can't warp either. I have to recharge it, but I'm not going to charge it until he's almost pointing in the right direction. Double check these potential conduit ruptures. Or are we pointed in the right direction? I'll run a diagnostic on that. So I have a button here that says reduce signature. Yeah, that's what I was talking maybe about the that's... signature. I think that just shuts down certain systems and stuff, right? And probably your speed. That's what I'm trying to figure out what controls, what affects the signature. Right now we're at 10 yeah. kilometer uh, signature range. Which I can see on the engineering station. Well, our shields are lowered, so that probably reduces signature. Yeah, I would think so. Okay, signature just went up to like 19.9k from oh, 10. Okay I, I, okay, I turned on the shields. See what happens when I turn on the torpedoes. I think that will go up too. Okay, turn on torpedoes. So what's the signature? That now? went up to now 29.7. Oh wow. So you just okay, tripled so everything. You, so every time you turn on some systems like weapons and shields, our signature increases. Oh, that's what the yeah, so I would problem is. Probably turn it down. Turn everything down unless needed. Okay, torpedoes disarmed, shields down. What's the problem, Lewis? Understood. I was too close to my, uh... Yeah, they sometimes trying to touch stuff is a little touchy. Uh, yeah, I was too close to my, uh, things. My sensors. Yeah, you gotta so get... Oh, just Oculus-wise. Yeah. Okay. It's okay, there's no, there's no threats yet, so we're good. Okay, so... <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be sitting ducks when there are threats. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Uh, okay, so we want to warp. You won't Yamaha be able to Hydra. until I charge. Okay. Let me know when to charge. Yeah, I'm going to charge it now. Warp coil charging. Charging. Okay. So now Taz can go back to local mode. Charged. I think I'm pointing in the, in the right direction. Warp okay, coils. they're charged. You got 28 seconds to figure out how to warp. Yeah, click it on, click local mode, and then you can orient the ship towards the vector. 20 seconds. Is there a big local button on the screen? 10 seconds. Warp coil discharge imminent. Dude, I can't orient because it won't move, it won't come out of the warp. Uh... The warp screen? The gamma set. Okay. Warp coils discharged. We're discharged. Sorry, guys. Sorry. Right. No, it's, it's all good. That's what, I'm, is... that's what I'm saying, line up. I can't tell. Are we lined up already, Bren? No. I would line up first before we try anything. Yeah, that's... So Lewis fine. has got to figure out where... I don't see anything selected, so... The only thing I see selected is a space station. So I don't know if Brandon has... Mm. Anything no, selected to warp to? No, oh, I can't okay. do it. Only the helm. Only the helm can do it. No, but I was seeing where you wanted to turn before. I'm not. I'm not seeing that now. So I don't know if you have. I think the captain has to select the warp. The nope, destination. Don't have access. Uh, In your. Nope, I don't. Have, I, that's what I was doing I, all I, last night. I. Uh, I can select it. Doesn't. I can select it as like a message, so it puts an exclamation mark on it, but then I still have to tell the crew right. to... But uh, when you had it selected before, I could see where it was, and now I cannot. So, okay. unless that's different, I don't know. There. Now I can see where the where you're supposed to be warping, which is almost our 7 yeah, o'clock, right? Yeah, Taz did that. Taz oh, did that. he did? He, oh, okay. Taz... Yeah, yeah I picked that. To do it. All right, you got to turn to it. Ship. 
Grab that joystick thing on the bottom right and go left. What bottom right? I went into the current location. Big thing where it shows your heading. I think it shows your yeah, heading. I forget what it looks like. Yeah, uh, there's a big button that says local, and that takes you to the local. I can't hear you, uh, Brian. Navig what? You think he needs to be looking at a, a map? Doesn't he just need to turn the ship? That's all. I don't think I remember seeing a map on that station. Yeah, but I'm tr what I'm trying to do is get out of the warp. Uh, where you say warp? Oh, there we go. Aha, ship is finally turning. There you go. Okay, I'm charging up the coils again. Warp coil charging. Okay. Warp coils charged. Ready to warp. Oh, uh, okay. Engage. Nice. There we go. What's a thing? I told her she has to look at the eyelet and it's red. Um, I don't, tell her I don't know. I've, I've never turned captain. it on before. Channel open. We have a target 42 US kilometers. My vessel has lost all power and our life support systems are nearly exhausted. We have a crew of six. I request that you take us aboard your ship as soon as possible. Okay, I think it's a rescue mission. Let's just scan for hostiles first. I think we're out, we're out of range. range. So yep. Helm, move us in 20 kilometers to the target, Talon. So more engine or more power to the engine, I guess. I think there's I think they're on full. Oh, perfect. Yeah, engines are on full. Lewis figured out how to give us a little bit of impulse. Oh there we go. Finally got some impulse speed. Yeah, we're moving now. 1,000, 2,000. Yeah, we got maximum 4,000 speed. Crank her up, Lewis. There's also a nice full stop button that you can use at the bottom there. Yeah, I see that now. I think once you take your hand off it, it will settle in. It will stop where you have it I'll set. So it looks like you're going up and down like crazy. It's not easy, but you're th but the There we go. We're still out of range. What's the range usually, Brandon? About 20k? Uh, 20k, but our... It depends on what's set in engineering. Right, okay. Well, you said to take... Okay, I could uh, scan now. I'm uh, 30k out. Scanning for life signs. Transferring data to your panel, Captain. Uh, six life signs found. Captain. Okay, no hostiles. Not that I see. Okay. Full stop. Our shields and engineering. Uh, lock, lock onto those life forms. Select a transporter target. All right, locking on. It's going to be about 50 seconds. Okay. Tactical, just get ready in case we need to raise shields. Roger. Thirty seconds. So I believe this is a rescue mission.
15 seconds. Environmental controls are due for a diagnostic scan. All right, I'll have a look. Uh, ready to energize? Uh, go ahead. Energizing. The vessel is empty, and all crew members are accounted for. Okay. So that's everyone. I guess that's Checking it. Checking objectives. Roger. We have a priority message incoming from Starfleet Command. Okay. Taking Opening hail. channel. On screen. Captain, we've lost contact with one of our survey vessels, the USS Nicholson. You're the closest ship to their last known position. We need you to locate the vessel and render any aid they may need. We're sending their last coordinates to you now. Starfleet out. All right. So, uh, s impulse to the Section 6 Nebula. Calculating travel vector. Yeah, we're still on impulse engines. I guess they just stay there all uh, the time. Yeah, engines are sufficient, so set a course. I allocating engine power for impulse. Are you waving your arm around? Yeah, I'm messing around. See, so I wanted to see. <laughs> I wanted to see when you'd notice. Yeah. I guess. Yeah, I've been seeing. My chair kind of spins too a, a little bit. Eh? Yeah. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool because I'm actually spinning my my desk chair to do that. <laughs> it almost coincides perfectly. It's weird. I did. It, it, it almost. So my like turning chair. That's pretty cool. Uh, nope, you're not turning, Taz. <laughs> not your chair. You're not turning. Your head's turning, but not your, your chair. Head. Oh, okay. That's weird. There's, there's no tracking on my. Now, why am I not? Why are we not moving very quickly? Uh, oh, oh no, you're moving fast. Five thousand. The, the left. Um, oh, you got a throttle thing. Push that up. The bit that big, huge one, Bren. Yeah. The big handle thing. Left. Yeah. There we go. It's cool because you could see him actually do it. Yeah. That's that's why it's so slick. Yeah, it's pretty immersive. Oh, okay, cool. All right. I guess that so... great big set of green arrows means I have to push that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's kind of unnecessary when you think about it, because everything else is just a button. Yeah. Why is that a huge handle? They can use a nice big handle right here. Too okay. close, they'll be attracted to our hull, and the damage could be severe. We should keep our distance. Mines are about 10, 10 kilometers, 11 kilometers out. At our okay. 10 o'clock and 8 o'clock. The environment is inhibiting the That's about right. Right. our sensors, Captain. We are, however, detecting pockets of plasma coolant. They may provide clues as to the Nicholson's whereabouts. So, anomaly 30k away mm -hmm. at uh, about 312. And what's this? There's a plasma coolant. I think that's what they were just talking about. 27k. Okay. I can actually scan it from here. Okay, how about we destroy this gravic mo gravitic mine? That's a That one there. Sure. Helm, so take us in. Actually, you can just start shooting. Oh, can I shoot from this? And... Out of range. Uh, okay, what's your range? I'm not sure if it tells me. Oh, the, cur the current range is 11.3k. Tactical can increase that. To yeah. Us. Engineering can increase it. Can increase or, pardon me, engineering. Okay, can increasing. Lower I can lower the shields. Okay, I've turned. Lower I've the turned engine. To face it. Yeah, there you go. So we'll blow that thing away and then we'll head towards the coolant. Roger. Firing. Okay, set, set a course to the coolant. There's another one I can blow away off to our left. 
Okay. Continuing your turn. Firing. It's target gone. destroyed. Okay. Clear to proceed. I could scan this sucker too from this distance as okay. we move in. Uh, let's scan the plasma when it's um, standard. Right now you have minimal. Oh, okay. We yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay. I, I don't see that. I'm just guessing. Yeah, no, you're correct. All right, uh, power to the engines. Let's just um, take us forward. Full speed. Aye, Captain. Prioritizing power to engines. Okay. Let you do that. You did that by yeah. AI, Brown? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if you. How about this? If you want me to jump to engineering to do stuff, then let me know. Otherwise, I'll stay okay. here. Uh, maybe uh, if there's yeah, more. It's actually, especially in a firefight, you should stay on. Yeah, oh, uh, for sure. Yeah, I was thinking that for sure. sure. Okay, we're within uh, optimal scanning range. Feel free to scan. Yep, standard range, scanning. It's also a. Uh, Gravity. Transferring analysis to your panel, Captain. Full stop, 12.7 kilometers away. Okay, there's right. something else that appeared on radar, another plasma coolant B. Okay, let's go. Twenty seven K. The sensors are detecting a distress beacon, but it is not a Federation frequency. Oh. It uh -huh. looks like a civilian vessel needs assistance as well. There's also a gravit gravit gravitic mine in that area. On screen. Aegis, according to my engineer, our engines are locked in some sort of malfunction cycle. If we could temporarily override them, I think we can fix the problem. Okay. Uh, these guys are 54k out. The uh, Belt okay. Beltane, is that the ship name, I guess? Okay. So uh, let's clear out the... That mine first, or is it? Mine, it's kind of close. The scan. We might want to get closer in to see, because that mine looks like it's right where the ship is. I don't know if yeah, it does. blowing it up will do anything. Uh, that might do some bad bad news. So <laughs> let's just scan. Let's finish scanning this um, coolant B on our way. Okay. And head to investigate. Sure. You want me to scan when we're at normal range, because we're still at minimal. Uh, let's try Moving minimal. Closer. All right, scanning at minimal. I wonder if just the let's time it takes to scan. Difference. Yeah, maybe because this seems to take longer now. Yeah, it looks like it's going a lot slower than it was before. Okay, it might just be the time to take time to scan. Yeah, and I am updating your panel, Captain. Okay, it's been scanned. Okay, let's see what we've learned. <laughs> a lot of mines showing up oh. now, I think. Yeah. Okay. Can't see them. Bunch of mines showing up. Uh, great okay, all around our. Now. And another uh, plasma coolant C has popped up as well behind the other one, it looks okay. like. Okay, I'll put it on the screen. We've got. Some, what's that weird thing on the map? Like it almost looks like a, a mountain. Oh, this thing, the anomaly? Yeah, we're and in the. We're almost in the anomaly range. It's 20k out. Yeah, that's. And it's scannable. Go for it. All right, scan. scanning. Yeah, we can proceed the uh, engines forward. Hooray! I expect that anomaly will have moderate effect on our <laughs> systems. Huh? Right, but we're gonna. Oh, so we shouldn't drive through the anomaly. Okay. Got Maybe you. not. Well, hard to say. Let's... Looks like we might have to, or around it a little bit. Uh, no, we can go to the right, head around it. I All can't right, hear you, Brad. Why the hell can't my... Lewis hear you? Is my audio bad or? Or Taz, hit uh, your left menu button on uh, Oculus. Yeah. You should be able to pull up. Uh, you should be able to see players on the right. Yeah. Go to Brandon and see if you somehow have the voice chat volume turned way down. No, it's all the way up. 
Well, that doesn't make any sense that you can't hear Brandon, but I can. You could, and you could hear me fine, like normal volume. Yep. What the hell? And my, my volume is not normal. For me, it's perfect. For me, you and Taz are the exact same volume. Is it because you, you have on... Taz turned down? Maybe turn Taz up a little bit. Yeah. I or can. maybe it's your. I don't know. It doesn't okay. make sense. How's this? How's this, Taz? Can you hear? Not much better. No, no different. A little bit. Hmm. A little bit better. No. I. You okay. know what? I'm actually. I think I'm here. I'm hearing you talking in the room. What do you mean? You're probably hearing me from. Um, Delta's screen. No, because you know what I'm doing is I'm looking at him right now yeah. on the Oculus, and I can hear him better than I'm turned away. So mm -hmm. basically, like we're standing in the same room, I can hear him better. Right. But hang on a second. Are you, aren't you? are you hearing us? Oh, no, we're hearing you only through TeamSpeak. But you're okay. hearing yeah. us right, right. in game or something. So I'll, so turn, I'll on turn on TeamSpeak, team speak, so you can so hear, you me, hear me there, but now Delta's going to hear me. Well, I guess we'll just all go, all three of us go TeamSpeak, and I'll kill... Yeah, we can all three go TeamSpeak. How about that? Sounds, Sounds good, good to, to me. me. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm turning down, down the volume, volume in-game. In yep, same here. Okay, turning on my TeamSpeak, if I could find it. Oh, it actually doesn't turn it down, it just... Microphone activated. Okay, can you guys hear me? Should be yep. team speak. Yeah. Slight echo, but not a big deal. Yeah, why am I getting an echo with Brandon? I got your voice chat volume turned right off, pretty it's, much. It's off, but it doesn't completely go off. Oh, you don't think so? Yeah, it only goes down so low, right? So. Yeah. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to turn both of you guys down in game to see if that stops the echo. How's that? Uh, I don't know. You tell us. I don't know. Sounds, well, I'm fine. But I only get an echo from Brandon enough. and not Taz. How does that make any sense? Because you guys can hear each other in game. Yeah, Taz is only broadcasting from TeamSpeak, so that's fine. Oh, he completely... How did he shut off in game, though? Completely. His, his in games <laughs> never worked. Oh, okay, you were able to shut it off somewhere, Lewis? Not that I know of. See, Brandon, that's cool. why. I think Lewis's cool. whole volume setup is this sound setup is this messed up somehow. Yeah, I think it's something gone wrong. Okay, we'll. Figure anyway, it out. let's go. I'll put up with the echo from Brandon some for some reason. Yeah, well, I have the same echo from you, so that's that's fine. Orders, Captain. Um. So we're gonna go around the anomaly. So full full stream ahead. Left or right? right? To the to right, right of the anomaly. Say something, Brent. Nope. Just trying to see if it's actually in game that I'm hearing you from. Yes, Captain. Full power to engines. Warning, environmental hazard detected. Okay. Sensors reduced, but that should be fine. I could probably take out this closer mine. It doesn't look like it's that close to the ship, or it's, it's yep, probably okay 10k away from the ship. Yep, I'm okay with that. Oh, no, out of phaser range. Oh, in phaser range. Firing. All right, it's down. Okay. There's two more gravitic mines up there. Yeah, ahead. so they're right. They're still out of range. One to uh, 16 kilometers. It's in range now. I could fire. Acknowledged. Maximizing power to phasers. Full power. I just want, like, half power. There's another mine. Balancing power allocation. Oh, that's interesting. Did you turn down the phasers or something? Yep. 
So I could only fire in a, a much, much smaller arc. Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay. Let's focus our attention now on the Beltane. Yep. So, uh, is scan complete? Uh, I've not even scanned it yet. Perfect. So let's start with the scan. Scanning. And I think it said something about disabling their engines or doing something with their engines, right? Um, I remember. Yeah, so, oh yeah, it does. So once you've completed the scan. The panel, uh, Scan's complete. Their engines are at 5%, okay. it looks like. Interesting, interesting. Okay, so let's disrupt their engines. Go to the disruption menu. Intrusion, roger. Select the ship. Uh, select the engines. And disrupt disrupt. engines, right? Yeah, let's see if they hail us. Disrupting. It looks like that fixed it. We should be able to take it from here. Thanks for your help. You probably just okay. saved all our lives. Power to engines. That's it. That might be it. There's still the, uh, there's a okay. gravitational mine uh, back behind their ship. I s well, uh, I would uh, hold it. And there's now. plasma coolant behind the mine if we okay. end up going that way. So let's continue, chart a course to fly past the ship. And. Okay. What was that? Oh, that was Warp. That. Oh, they warped the out. Ship okay. Oh, okay. Jeez. Yeah, that was a little so weird. Now, so now that they're gone, you can shoot the gravitic mine. Yeah, Good. okay. Firing. And we'll head over to that final coolant and give that a scan. I will uh, increase um, scanning. 30k out. Okay, I could scan minimal. You want me to just scan as we're on, on our way there? Yep. the scan i believe our lost ship is showing on sensors now captain we're being hailed warning all right environmental hazard detected Aegis. This is nicholson on our vessel scanner. is severely damaged and leaking radiation most of my crew escaped but a few of us are trapped in a forward compartment okay. i need you to transport us off the ship and then well she's too dangerous we can't just leave her floating out here you'll have to scuttle her Okay, so quickly, look for, uh, do a scan. Do you have scanning I can, ability? yep. Scan, scan immediately. Scanning. Uh, there's also an anomaly. Looks like the ship might be partially in the anomaly. Okay. What I'd like you to do after the scan is do a transporter lock. Roger. Immediately. Um, I'll have to lower our shields. I am sending new data to your panel, Captain. Locking on, 50 seconds. Okay, good. Six life forms. Six life forms, so 10 seconds of life. Something like that. Helm, get us a little bit closer to the ship. Are we within phaser range? Uh, I believe so. I can't okay. tell 100. Uh, it says invalid target, so we can't shoot at it. Okay, yeah. We don't shoot it yet, but... There is an anomaly that I can... No, we're out of range for the There's... anomaly behind it. Okay, I have a feeling... It's 37 that... kilometers to the anomaly. Three seconds. And we're 10 kilometers from okay. the... Transport. Energize. Energizing. Okay. Um, They're on board. Full stop, full stop. Uh, engage phasers. Onto the ship. Uh, it says invalid target. Oh, sorry, I was not pointing on the ship. Okay, we're supposed to destroy it. Yep. Yeah, because okay. we just scuttle it, right? Just, so, uh, just double checking, Captain, in have... case you. Actually, you could just fire a torpedo if you want for fun. For fun? Yeah. Arming Jesus, torpedoes. Let, let's waste a torpedo. Why don't we? Arming torpedoes will take a while. Do I need to back away? Yeah, we could back away. Well, I think we're good. We're. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Back away. Don't fire yet. <laughs> Why? You think we're too close? Yeah, I think we're too close. Let's move back. Um, Come on. Eight, break some... key. No, no, no. I'm going to put some power to the engines. Let's move back. 
full full reverse. Uh, let's full get reverse. ourselves. Let's get ourselves. Torpedoes uh, armed. Let's get ourselves 20 kilometers safely away. Oh, it's gonna uh, take a while because we only have 1,000 power on reverse. Yeah, I think the reverse is like one, one power, one twenty percent uh, of the. Uh, Okay, then uh, maybe uh, turn us around and then and then go forward, right? Okay, I'll turn us around. How far can we fire torpedoes? Do you know? Um, I do not know. That's I think they can. Know. I think they can fire backwards, although I'm not sure. Let's see. Once we go out of a 180 arc. Hmm, hard to tell. So once once it's directly behind, full power forward, and let's get 20 kilometers away. And then, yeah, you can fire your torpedoes. When do you want them fired at 20k? Approximately? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're 17. Let me put it on the screen. Target on the screen. That it doesn't give you like the range. Oh, we're 20k firing. Tor firing one torpedo. Okay. Environmental hazard detected. Yeah, it does curves oh, all the is. way around behind us, which is nice. Okay, let's magnify and watch the fireworks. I assume that's the ship. Uh, I would think so. Yeah, I believe so. Ooh, there you go. Oh. I Target destroyed. Disarming torpedoes. Captain, I have an update from Starfleet Command. They're sending us new coordinates. That's a pretty big explosion. Okay, yeah, that was huge. Okay. Let's set a new course from Command, Section 10, the neutral zone. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll impulse Flooding there. Course. Conversion efficiency is down. Can you see what the issue is there? Nope. I'll put that in my key. Yeah, let me. Is that true? You want me to check uh, the warp core, Captain? Uh, oh, I don't know. Captain's doing it himself. <laughs> yeah, I checked it. There's nothing there. Well, why would she say that? Why are you saying that over there? <laughs> it's like, you can't make things up. Why would she say that? I know, like, don't, don't just blabber off random stuff. <laughs> Ooh, here we go. Uh, ooh, we're moving slow this time. Engine power. Engine Is it not full? It should be. Uh, no, I don't know. Well, we they should were, They were at check four it? the last time we were on impulse. Want me to check it, Captain? Sure. Oh, we're almost there, I think. Yep. Oh, I can't switch, I don't like, while we're in this mode. Oh, okay. We're there, anyway. Alright. Stay where you are, and let's be... See what's up ahead. Ooh! <laughs> Looks like tons of mines. I'm getting something on the distress channel. Putting it on screen. Okay. And the Kobayashi Maru. Okay. okay, sure, why not? That's what we do. <laughs> Alright, take us uh, closer. In the Klingon neutral zone. Entering the zone would put us in violation of treaty. Sounds good to me. <laughs> so, you want us not to go in the zone, or do you want us to go in the zone? You Fair want mines it. cleared out in our path? Okay, let me think. I've got one um, in range. Yeah, we got one at 13 kilometers. And I can also scan it. I'm not sure what that does for you. All right. The question crew, are, do you want to fight? We do not want to fight. That is the question. Oh, uh, why, you think if we blow these up, they'll come out of the woodwork? Uh, 
Let's take us forward, uh, blow up that first mine that's in range, so we can get a clear path to the ship. Firing phasers. Just be ready for conflict. Because we're going out of the... Mine destroyed. We're going out of the neutral. There's another mine at 30k right in front of us, right before <coughs> the ship. And I'm out of range. Oh. Full okay. thrusters. Full thrusters, that's fine. Now remember, this ship only has 100% hull, no We're shields. We're approaching the Klingon neutral zone, Captain. Hmm. We want to get them out, so I think we we're going to transport them out, right? Let's see. Probably. Um, okay, so we need to do kind of two things. We need to transport them out, so lower our shields to transport them out, while probably engaging... Um, 14k to mine? The Klingons. Yeah, you can blow that one up. Okay, clear to the target. I can lost the hostile contact. I don't know. I never saw it on screen to begin with. Okay. Um, with thin scanning range for okay, the scan. for life signs. Yep, go for it. Get ready with transporter, and I would say. Ooh, 381 life signs. What? <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, how are we gonna rescue th these guys? Do we have um, a tractor beam? Uh, do, I don't, don't know, you think tell me. So. <laughs> um, well, um, I can lock on lock six on targets at a time. Six targets, do it. Locking on, 50 seconds. I wonder if it's going to make us sit here. I wonder if the closer we're in, the faster this goes. It could be. Warning, cloaked vessel detected. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> red alert. <laughs> you want the shields up, Captain? Uh, let's see. I assume red alert would mean shields up. Uh, we'll just keep the transporter going. Roger. I don't see them on the scanners yet. It's cloaked, don't forget. Well, they said detected uncloaking, though, right? Oh, yeah, true. Uh, 16 seconds on the transport. Okay, so let's see if we can beam them in first. Maybe we just need to bring in, like, the... there they are. There they are. Okay. Well, Eleven o'clock. Scan them. Scan, scan them. Uh, Scanning. Or, or can we? Okay, good. Yep. They're and heading towards five. the ship. Shit. Okay. They're shoot attacking them. it. <laughs> shoot them. Shoot them. <laughs> All right. Don't fire torpedoes until the shields are down. I can energize. Okay, energize and keep shooting them. Energizing. Helm. Helm. Try to keep them on our front. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. Understood. I'm arming torpedoes as well. We're out of range. Okay, let me increase the range of our phasers. I can lock on more targets as well while we're doing this. Might as well. Yep. Um, is he out of range, other, out of firing range? Yep. Okay, let's move up forward. Coming into Pass. range now, I think. Nice job, Taz. Okay, good. When his shields hit zero, fire torpedoes right away. Uh, yeah, let me know. Okay, shields cloaked. 34. Okay, let's take this out Okay, no problem. Fire phasers. Torpedoes out, torpedoes out. Are Two torpedoes up? out. Our nope. Shields, hey guys, up, don't believe our shields are up. Shields are up. Okay. Shields are going up. Okay. Or okay. seven seconds. Okay. We've uh, got another fire. cloak behind us. Um, the torpedoes are almost about to hit. Okay, done. Transferring data to your Okay, shields are up. Two targets to our right. Two targets. Uh, both of them have equal shields. Shields are up, so I cannot um, lock on anybody. I cannot bring them in. Okay, that's fine because uh, we need shields first. Just blast these guys with phasers. Okay. Might need more phaser power here. Okay, let's see if I can increase it. Shields holding at 75%. Okay, giving more power to the phasers. Any fire phasers? Trying. I think someone just hit us. Phasers are there's still... One directly, there's one directly below us. Okay, putting more power in phasers. If their shields are at zero, fire out the torpedoes. Yep, 
Firing torpedoes. Okay, good. Switching to cruiser three. Sorry, those torpedoes may have gone to the wrong ship. Okay, target destroyed. Uh, okay. Switching to cruiser three. Okay. We need to come around. They're at our uh, seven o'clock. Okay, I'm gonna boost power to our shields then while we're rotating. Okay, coming. They're shields flying are... past us. Shields are at thirty percent. Okay, they're firing. Tell me when you're ready to fire. Yep, firing now. Okay, full phaser power engaged. It take a while to charge. Okay. Our shields are at 22. Contact. At our yeah. 8 o'clock. I think they're going to keep coming in. Um, okay. Kobayashi Maru is at 50% hull integrity. So... I think we gotta we got to try to get more guys off that ship. We've got okay. four... Three Klingon I... vessels. Switching so targets. We... We're in transporter range, but... Yeah, but I... We gotta take the shields down for me to transport. Okay, let me see if I can, uh... Oh! Shields are toast! Yep. Uh, we're in trouble, I think. Okay. Locking Let's, targets um, okay. while we can. Okay, the Kobayashi is at 16 Hall. They're in dire, dire trouble. D5 Energizing cruiser some targets. Okay. D5 Sorry. Five cruiser three can be taken out. Firing torpedoes. Torpedo. Yep. And, Trying. Uh, Bird of Prey 1 has 33% shield. Roger. We're at, uh, we have 82% hull. Let's see if we can uh, hold out. It's not looking good. Okay, locking more targets. Affirmative. Equalizing power. We balance power. To the... We have warp core damage. It's sent some repair guys. Torpedo mess. Kobayashi is gone. Okay, let's uh... Roger. Okay. Congratulations, Captain. You Ooh. and your crew have just completed the Kobayashi Maru simulation. simulation. I know it's not easy to face a no-win situation like that. Okay. But it's a necessary test, both for Starfleet. <laughs> no win for situation. Ah, no wonder. I think we no all have wonder. a better idea now of the decisions you'll make when there's no obvious right answer. Based on your overall performance, I'm not only clearing the Aegis for Operation Distant Shore. I'm recommending Hooray. that you lead the expedition into the trench. Yeah. <laughs> it was a test. <laughs> I was like, there's no way we're gonna get this. Yeah, I'm like, there's no way. Like, how can you. I'm like, I'm like at least we didn't run away. We like, just stayed. Hey, like... we saved 12 people, though. Oh, we we, yeah, we recovered we 12. 12. Yeah. Do not violate the, violate neutral, the neutral zone. zone. We had to. We had to. <laughs> that was awesome. So, was that just. Uh, to get into the actual mission? Uh, that's the first one called Prologue Shake. Oh, okay. So that's oh, actually a mission. So that was a mission before the crew. Oh, it even says carries out a live exercise, but I didn't even read it. I just uh, read it, which is good. That's that fine. Would have, that would have given it, given it away. All right. So I think if we, uh, so I'll be, I'll let someone else be captain. I haven't done it, so we go can, ahead, Luz. Uh, switch over no, no, to no. chapter one. Go ahead, you guys can. No, oh, Brandon was a good captain. Yeah, I think so too. Thanks, guys. Uh, um, take the captain, Lewis. Yeah, take, yeah. take, take it, Lewis. It's fine. <laughs> we won't listen no. to you. How's that? Yeah, exactly. No. We'll just do whatever we want. I'm in the helm. No. <laughs> you. <laughs> captain. No. You. No. Captain. No. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't do that. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> I got you two times. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> there. In the middle. Uh, there. There you go. All right. I'm taking captain. Thank you. All right. Switch over to chapter one. What about Lewis? He's not in a seat yet. There he is. 
I'll stick with the helm or for the moment. Yeah. All right. I'll do, the, I'll do the yeah. Once I do the training, I don't. I won't mind. But oh, because you were in the campaign section, Brandon. I think that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dormy C. Oh, are we doing campaign or are we waiting for? I Alex? didn't think so. I think we're gonna wait, but that's okay. Uh, I got a Discord message. Discord. <laughs> I'm sure it's uh, forsaken, probably with something not useful to say. Losers. Losers. <laughs> it said it was a no-win situation. <laughs> That's what they always do on Star Trek in those training missions. As soon as I saw Kobayashi Maru, I knew it was a no-win. Is that usually the one they use? Yeah. Well, it's the one from the original Star Trek, right? Mm -hmm. uh, all right, why don't we do this one? I'm, I want to try this dynamic one again, Brandon. I'm wondering yep. if it's just totally random. Yep, I like that. Let's do it. Launching. So let me try my stream one more time. Oh, you never got that going. <clears throat> no, it didn't go. Jeez, this is interesting. I'm sitting six feet back from my computer right now. I had to do sort of the same thing so I don't mash into my desk. That as well as my sensors or uh -oh. if I get too close, my monitor blocks Captain's them out. Captain's log supplemental. USS Suribachi has requested our immediate support. We're en route to rendezvous with him now. Captain, we've got an incoming hail. All right, whatever your name is. Where's the hail? Opening channel. Okay. Aegis, this is Captain Stillwater of USS Suribachi. We are engaged with multiple hostiles and are severely damaged. We need immediate reinforcement. Sure. sure. Whatever you say. New data to your readout, Captain. Okay, checking objectives. Operational charts. Okay, Helm. We got to get to the Elgar Arboros Mercer's Point. Okay, engaging warp. Warp in course. Warp will be recharged in five seconds. I'll also power up their shields. Warp coils charged. Look at that. Hey, I asked. I almost do what I was doing. Uh, Helm. Helm's like totally in charge now. Okay, we need to travel to Stillwater. We're under attack and need immediate reinforcement. Where are we? I will mark our charts. Okay, we've got subspace communications relay space station nearby, but nothing Mercer's else. point? Uh bring us a full stop. Yeah, we need to get to Mercer's point. Which is okay. I'm not sure where it is. It's at oh, there it is. Okay. Or nine o'clock. Yeah, I've got it selected now. Okay. Would you like to impulse or warp? Impulse. Okay. Aye aye. Whenever you're ready, Helm. Calculating travel vector. Plotting a course at the moment. Starting to plot. I guess it's almost like a loading screen because I can't really do anything while this is happening. Be ready, tactical. I'm ready. Shields up. We got one Subarachi, 37 kilometers. Uh, Shit. What the hell? What the uh, Helm, take us out of this anomaly. Shields are up. Roger that. Let me increase some power on the shields. Field shields are on max. I'll increase power on the engine so we can get out of here quicker. Okay, let me see. What are we supposed to do here? 
defend the disabled Surabachi. Ooh, okay, so so we'll destroy all attacking vessels. Uh, bring us 180 degrees, Helm. And, uh, yep, I think. Okay, we have a Warbird and a D5 cruiser. Okay. Are our shields going down? Shields are going down because of the anomaly. We're at 85. Looks like we're out of the anomaly, but I guess we're close enough to it. Yeah, we're out of it now. What I thought, so I... Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we're out of range for scanning. Okay, we got Warbird 1 and a cruiser, right? Yeah, the cruiser is the slightly closer. Is at 50 oh, gosh. Uh, let's bring us in there as quick as he can. Lewis, I guess just straight in. Grand. I'm, I'm at full, uh, We're showing full their thruster. Alright. Oh gosh, there's no way. Brand, just has been attack being hailed, anything you can. Okay. Generation vessel Aegis. Withdraw from this area. I'm gonna, we will destroy I'm gonna target the warbird, it's closer. I'm gonna give you some phaser range. Yes, please. Uh, let's see. Okay, you got more phaser range, not much, but... No, it's perfect. Sending new data to your panel, Captain. Shield strength at 50%. Our shields are at 25 Oh my gosh, our shields are getting completely annihilated. Hmm. I am updating your panel, Captain. Oh, we got another more bird. Attacking. Another smaller bird is attacking us. Okay, engaging. Let's put power to shields. Uh, get ready, Taz, to get us out of here. Maybe plot a course if you can. Plotting course. Engaging beam on warbird one. Yeah, get us out of here, Lewis. Plotting, turning. Come on, keep turning. These spacers charge so slow. Aegis, USS Raleigh. We are en route to provide support. Oh, thanks. Oh, come on. Now you tell us. <laughs> I know, eh? I went to the space station. Oh, yeah, okay, good. Yeah, Brandon and I couldn't figure out a way to repair or anything the other night. Let's see what our hull's at. Yeah. Oh, okay. It looks pretty. Ready. I'm repairing stuff. Good. I wonder how we can charge phasers faster though. It's just so slow. Yeah, I know. Can you flip the power to it? I guess you'd have to do the coupling and stuff. Maybe not but... shoot it so fast. Yeah, I think that's part of it too. Um, so what do we got? Shields at 100, hull 82. No, we're not in so terrible shape. Oh crap! We got a... We got a target coming at us. Get ready, uh, tactical. Ready, don't see them yet. Coming from where we were? Probably, yep. I think it just warped in. We're being hailed, Captain. We they are still I, with us. I will they must be following our impulse Captain, we've been detected. We've got incoming orders. Target the warbird. Targeting, targeting. Please get at uh, three o'clock. Gonna give you more phaser range. Phaser range is good. Taking, gonna lower their shields. Beaming their, beaming their shields. Give you even more phaser range. Okay. He's 4.5 kilometers directly in front of us. Engines we have two more birds. Shit. Three more. Really? Three more at our. Yeah, I, I see them. Phasers. I need more phasers. Ah, uh, good luck. <laughs> Checking the power. I got your phasers almost up full. Yeah. Yeah, we got. We got things to repair here. Lewis, plot us a course. Oh wait, do we have somebody coming in to help us? We have 
Yeah, we do. Uh, head three o'clock, Lewis. We got friendlies. We'll just hopefully hold on. Uh oh, all compromised. Okay. Oh crap! Oh, oh no! We blowed up. What the they heck? Way too powerful. Yeah, like what are you supposed to do there? Eliminate all hostile forces. Or did we just not move in and destroy them while we had the chance while they were shooting the uh, the other ship? Or was that the last mission? I can't remember now. All right, we were. I think we had a friendly that they took out first. Mm -hmm. And I guess we were kind of. Yeah, we were supposed to protect the Sarabache. Yeah, yeah, so we didn't get in there quick enough, I guess. Okay. But we had uh, hard, I mean, that's my only guess. Time. You know, we, yeah, zero, almost zero time to do anything, right? And then right, the... right when yeah. we warped out, we had some ships coming in to help us. So probably if we got in there right away, killed a, at least one ship, and then we might have had a fighting chance. But who knows? Well, how long does it take to do ter um, phasers? Uh, it just I don't know. Loads on, it loads really slow. Yeah. Because I'm thinking if we have phasers charged before we get there. No, I think they're charged immediately. It's just once you start firing them, they uh, they start oh. lowering and lowering and lowering and lowering. I think it's just probably the rate of usage, Bren. Okay. If you don't let them totally discharge, you're probably, I don't know if it makes a difference or not, but it probably does. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think you probably need to be messing around with the the power coupling, but that you need a dedicated guy there, otherwise there's no way. Uh, you, you, need, you almost need a dedicated guy at engineering, playing with stuff as people need the uh mm -hmm. right right so you should jump on engineering yeah i tried <laughs> <laughs> let's see let's see there's yeah well i could put it on the uh the dynamic mission again i don't know if it'll, it probably won't give us the same one you guys ready? Should we give another shot? Yep. Problem is when when you're in engineering, I can't get a. I have no clue what's going on. You know what I mean? I have no. No, oh, no panels. Yeah, like, so it's. I could try to sit there the entire time and try to command Captain's from log there. But... Supplemental. We've detected a weak signal from what appears to be an automated distress beacon. We are en route to investigate. I'll try that. I'll try sitting Captain, in engineering of when I for most here. most of the time. Putting it on the view screen. Emergency! Emergency! A vessel fired on our ship and destroyed our engines. We need immediate assistance. Captain, uh, shields up. A clear origin for the call. Looks like it's the same ship, the Arborus. Captain, I'm updating your readout. Okay, the source of the signal. Warp to the Arna system. Uh, I will prepare warp. I can't. Brandon's sitting there. Okay. Warp charging when coils. Or spotted. Warp when ready. So, definitely this time it's got maximum power on phasers. Warp coils charged. Warp. Contract dead ahead. Okay. Tactical report. Buoy one. If we can pull data from the relays in the area, I believe we should be able to locate the original source. Derelict ship. Can you scan the derelict? I cannot. What? I don't know. This Not scannable. That, that thing again, where it's. Or just... maybe it's. Maybe the no. derelict ships are not oh, hold scannable. On. Let me turn off my shields. No, oh, didn't help. All right, turn forget the derelict. The uh, helm, take us towards the buoy. Buoy one. Yep. 
that one I can scan. It's currently out of range. Okay, I'm gonna s try to sit in engineering for I as need, long as I, I can. I need some engine power. Roger, giving you, you engine power. Full powered engines. It's set full power. 64 kilometers. Giving us more power, Lewis, to engines. Thank you. Scan is still out of range. Do I need to move out of this shrapnel? Uh, I don't think so. How do I put the view screen stuff on? Oh, this is what I want. Okay, relax. <laughs> uh, we we within scan range yet? Yep. Okay, I just heard the scan. scanning going. Transferring data to your panel, Captain. I'm picking up an unidentified signal, Captain. See, here's where I gotta switch back to Captain, otherwise. Okay, bring us to a full stop, Helm. Full stop. And plot a course to the Rift Tempest region. Car, the wreckage. Travel vector. We take the uh, torpedoes offline. Sure. Tactical. And shields are down. Uh, we've All got right. a disturbance in the area, which is affecting our ship. Shields are going down. What would we do? Yeah. We might have an issue with launch sequencing. Can you investigate? Warning. That? Right. I'll look it over. Ready to engage? Oh, make it so. Yeah, why are we getting some weird... We're getting some damage on our shields? Some electrical damage? Uh, it looks like phasers. Some... Oh, yeah, shields are going down, too. Why is that? But yet, on the repair screen, everything's 100%. Oh, we got engines up ahead. Sensors. Hostile void. Warning. Environmental hazard detected. And D5 cruiser? 40 clicks out. Switching back to captain's seat so I can actually see something. Uh, we locate the buoy. Yep, that one's 16 kilometers. There's a buoy there, uh, buoy two. Okay, we have one at our one o'clock. That's a hostel. The other one is on the other side of the anomaly. Yeah, buoy two. So Helm, set a course uh, to the left of the anomaly. And make your way to that buoy to get within scan range. Captain, I have the option to block communications on the hostile buoy. Okay, go for it. Disrupting. I wonder if that's that's cool. The buoy is unable to communicate to okay. enemies. Can you do it with the other one as well? Scan is out of range. Okay. It seems Elm is bringing us around, so... The communication has been disabled for a minute and 30 seconds. Anomaly. Buoy is 22 kilometers away. See if you could scan that buoy too. Scanning the buoy, and then I'll 
And then disrupt it. Transferring analysis to your panel, Captain. I believe I have enough data to trace the signal, Captain. Okay. Updating coordinates now. Warning. Exceed. I have updated the star charts with new coordinates. Uh helm. Uh plot a course to Twin Planets region. Warning. We have a cruiser coming inbound to our Lock on. See if we can get some phasers on it. Gonna give you some phaser power. Why is this thing not flooding? Flooding course. Disrupting enemy ship. For now, Helm, try to keep that ship in front of us. It's almost. Enemies, enemies weapons are off for 20 seconds. Okay, nice. Shields at 10%. Shields are down. Oh, target's destroyed. Target destroyed. Nice. Nice. Good job. Data to your panel, Captain. All right. Calculating travel vector. Helm, bring us to uh, Twin Planets region. Let me check engineering, make sure we're not damaged. Everything looks 100%. Reblining. Nice. So we're looking for some ship in this region uh, and uh, transport survivors aboard. Prevent the Klingons from capturing survivors. So we might have to uh, take out uh, the ships if they're trying to Have to take out the Klingons if they're attacking the ship that we're supposed to be rescuing here. So Helm, if we have an enemy near the ship that we're trying to rescue, bring us in quick. We have a couple of ships directly. I see one ship kilometers. coming in 17. It's firing already. All right. Oh wow, out of range. Just take take us in, uh, Helm. Take us around these ships towards uh, our objective. Brandon, just get some shots off on these guys while we cruise past them. Disrupting his weapons. Roger. His weapons are offline. Okay, there's another one right in front of us. And bring us... Over to the cruiser one, uh, Helm. Federation vessel out here. Our location Boy, are we is glad to see you. We'll Move get everyone ready for transport. We have no checking shield. engineering. Yep. See, I don't know. The shields are still up, so giving you more phaser range, friend. Thank you. Oh, nice. Disabling his uh, weapons. Okay, let's fire out some torpedoes. Okay, I don't know what's. I don't know how you keep us going. Uh, head to our objective, Lewis, or uh, we want to get to that DC Cruiser One. If you can get some. Is that who you're firing at, friend? Okay. Try to take out that DC Cruiser One as fast as possible. Coming right at us. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't know why our shield strength just stays at zero. It doesn't make any sense. Our sh Maybe our shields are off. Why do they look like they're off? Nope, shields are at 80. Oh, now they're back at 80. What the hell? I don't know. I don't get it. Okay, shooting his hull. You should be done. Nice. 
We got target uh, cruiser three at uh, eleven o'clock. We got a burn of prey six kilometers at six o'clock as well. That's fine. We're gonna leave him there. Bird, bird. Okay, we got warning. Hull integrity of prey two. Yeah, I don't know what to do at, at this engineering console. Uh, Alright. Repair and drop some repair items, I guess. I've I've been repairing stuff, but stuff's near a hundred percent, but we're still getting de demolished. Okay, we got uh Bird of Prey two at our Bird of Prey two. Seven o'clock. Yep. Can we turn on that, Lewis? I get an angle and I can begin firing. All right. They just hit us with a torpedo. Giving uh, more power to engines until we get around on them. Let me know when we're when you could fire, Brent. Okay, he's right behind us, so I cannot. I think he keeps maneuvering on us. Okay, shields are back up. I am now engaging in firing. Increase phaser power, please. Increasing. Okay, firing. Okay, we have another bird. Firing, firing, firing. Damn it. He's All compromised, him. I don't know why. Shields are dead. Oh crap. Oh, got hit. Yeah, I think there's a bug with the shield numbers. Like, it, it was at zero for the longest time. And then all of a sudden it was like 80%. Yeah, I But thought. I don't I don't understand it. Beam survivors, I didn't beam anyone. No, who had time? I thought if we would have took taken out a couple of ships. Well, they just kept coming in, right? New new ones kept coming, I think. Or was there always like... And there was like three or four. Like. Yeah, we, were, we so almost got one, there. Two birds of prey and then the uh, warbird. I took one out, I think, right? Ah, uh, you took out two or three, I thought. Really? Oh, I'm pretty sure. Good. I could be wrong. Yeah, there was. Uh, you took out one bird of prey and one warbird, didn't you? Mm -hmm. At and least. And there was another. Or you took out the second one right at the end. And then there was a third one coming in. Yeah, I got his shields down and then had two tor torpedoes that were in the air. Yeah, so I, I don't get, I just don't get the shields because they were at zero for the longest time. I thought they were just dead. And I go to the repair system and they're they're like at 97%. And I repaired them in two seconds. They never came up until like some random time they just came up to 80%. So I don't know if the readout's incorrect or we're not doing something right to bring the shields back up in time. Maybe you got to give them more power, but they always have at least one bar of power. Not sure. Might be something to check. And yeah, I, I think you just, I think you need a dedicated guy on engineering more than any, well, I guess you can't. <laughs> more than anything else. Like, you, you got to be sitting there, it looks like, and just playing with the power levels constantly. Especially with the phase views, I think, because this, like, if I had more range, that would make a big difference. Yeah, I think that's the biggest. Is you got to get as much range as you can, range as you can. Yeah, but then you can't maneuver. So I had to switch over. It was mostly on. Well, it was probably on about three or four range. But then for it, the start, then... or even fully up, because I remember cutting the engines. But then Lewis couldn't turn, so I had to give some power to the engines. So Lewis could turn. Once he turned, then I switched it back to uh, phasers. Well, another point is I can't fire all the time because once all yeah, the phasers exactly. are drained, then you might as well turn it all off, right? Right. Because it has to recharge. So it's almost like see an enemy set phasers to 100%. I fire it all until all the energy has gone. And then you take it back and you put it all in engines and we fly around and try to... Maneuver a bit. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I don't know how much maneuvering you can do to like avoid getting shot Shots. at or whatever right yeah you know. need to get behind them right just like we're yeah i guess so have to get them in front of us and then torpedoes i can fire any direction which is good true and then if shields go down then there's no point putting power to the shields because i think once I the suppose, shields go off, yeah. go off line you're out of luck 
Yeah, and I was playing around with the coupling a bit to give Lewis even more power at, at times when we were trying to get somewhere. But I'm not sure that seems to give that warning where it says the, uh, what's it say? Overload. Yeah, something about being overloaded. So I don't understand like what you need to even look at for that or even how it affects other stuff. Might need to read up on that on the internet. That's about the only, well, I guess you could ignore that, but. I gotta do some research. Yeah, it was a, it's interesting though. But I, but I must I must say it's not too bad in uh, VR. Yeah, it's pretty slick actually. Or I guess you're not uh, you're not getting dizzy or anything, Louis. Is that no. what you mean? Yeah, because you're pretty much sitting still, looking exactly. at the screen, right? That's cool. I mean, but it's a lot easier to control in VR than it is. Uh, um, non VR. Maybe oh, yeah. that'll help. Yeah, that might help yeah. me because there's a point where I was going pretty frantic with the mouse. Tactical's pretty frantic. Yeah, true. Because I'm scanning and then trying to scan while I'm locking. Well, I'm going to do all of the different positions to see. Oh, that was the other thing, Brandon. You were, I think, doing near the end. You started uh, killing some of their subsystems, right? Yeah. So yeah. actually, that's probably. I wonder if we stayed at range. Right, you scan the subsystems and kill like kill a couple them. other weapon systems or whatever, yeah. whatever makes sense to kill first, right? Mm -hmm. I guess it depends on the situation because we well, could have, like, for example, there was the one ship that was close to the the ship we needed to rescue. We should have killed the weapons on that. I'm just thinking now, mm -hmm. you know, some tactics. Should have killed the weapons on that, and then maybe killed the engines on the other ones so that they can't get close and then zoom into yeah. the one with the weapons down mm -hmm. take it out you know shit like that you just it's hard to think, think of anything on the fly like it just becomes chaos right mm -hmm. I, think, I think you're exactly right because i think there's one option to kill the shields uh or Ooh, disrupt that, the shields that might which, be useful too which is where it lets your torpedoes get right through and hit the hull right so, so that might be an option too i think you have to kind of do that as kind of your first shot get rid of one guy right off the bat right. or even like the like the warbirds take mm -hmm. down their sh their shields yeah and you know you could scan like one system at a time too right Bren? so you can quickly scan do you have to scan the shields in order to intrude intrude them i think you do no, no you just scan the whole ship then you choose what you want to disrupt right but that's what i mean if you don't because the scan the whole ship is like three times or four times longer than scanning the one system right so you could scan just the shields and then disrupt the shields. You know what I mean? Oh, no, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah. Okay. You have to select, like, the uh, on the left side where it lists, like, let's say it lists shields, engines, whatever else. You can select just one of them. Or I think you, oh, could, oh. you could check mark as many as you want. So you, you, just turn, oh, you actually okay. turn off the check marks and just mm -hmm. leave, like, the shields on, scan it, and then disrupt it. Oh. That's why there's check marks. Okay. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I think the three, the one time, two times, three times, whatever, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. well, it's just, I guess, scanning faster, right? So you don't have to scan the entire ship. Interesting. So yeah, I just, I guess those little tricks we just figured out now. <laughs> After uh, the yeah. fact. But... Well, do one more. Now we got to test it. Uh, I was going to call it. Oh, okay. I'm fine with um, that. Yeah, I'm going to call it, but I'm okay. think, about, think about how we did. <laughs> well, I'm going to do some training. Ah, uh, there you go, Lewis. I thought you said you finished your training, or maybe Brandon said. No, Brandon finished. I, uh, okay. uh, I, I finished it. I did I engineering did. only. Ah, uh, okay, no wonder. Yeah, you were lost on the helm. But yeah, you figured it out pretty quick. Well, once I went into VR, it was easy. Oh, uh, okay. There you go. That's what I need. Uh... Hint, hint, friend. Oh, it's coming. <laughs> I know. Well, if we can get Alex in. Alex, uh, he's got the quest or whatever it is. So, uh, or he's got the game. Either way, get him in well, here. He's got, yeah, he's got the quest as well. So. Yeah, so four of us in here, I think, would make mm -hmm. a huge difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and I kept jumping over to engineering. I may, Maybe it's better just to not jump there and use the uh, the quick commands for engineering. And there's supposed to be a voice activated thing, which I'm not sure. Maybe it's not available when you're playing the 
Well, I've got voice commands on. Well, yeah, so do I, but I'm not sure. I yeah, do I know, know how to use them. I think I've read up on how to use them. You know, when you bring up the center panel, Brandon, for, like, overall commands? Okay. okay. Uh, I think you're supposed to be able to just talk there and say, like, power to shields or something. But it might not work when you're playing multiplayer. I don't know. I'm going to yeah, quickly yeah, yeah. jump into a single player thing just to try that. Yeah, mine is on as well, but I don't know what hotkey enables that. All right. All right, guys. Cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I guess I should turn off my stream.